Hi, I'm Arnie. I am 99 days alcohol free. Congratulations, Arnie. Well done. What was uh, your drink of choice when you were drinking? My drink of choice was always red wine. So I would come home typically after a day of work and, and have a glass of wine or two or three. So, yeah. And how was that impacting your life? Well, you know, slowly but surely, you become more and more detached. I mean, I looked, I, I would wake up thinking about when I can have my first glass of wine. Um, you know, I'd go through the day and kind of get done with the day and kind of reward myself. And so, um, you know, it somehow, I, I, you know, I saw it as a reward and, and that became my um, go-to way of, of escape, I guess, either from work or anything else going on in my life. That, so, um, that's how I kind of, you know, that, that was my drink and my, my, my reward for getting through a day of work or a week of work or a month of work or a year of work. Um, so that's me. Yeah. And so what was the moment or the situation that uh, inspired you to finally do something about it? You know, I had done the 30 day challenge in 2017, I think January, 2017, um, you know, I tried moderation and I fell back into kind of that process of just, you know, the cycle. And, um, so I, I, I really kind of really was drinking quite a bit in the last year and a half. And, um, you know, I kind of woke up one day and it was in September of last year. And I just realized like, I really want to stop alcohol. I, st- I want to stop drinking. I, I had tried AA, um, mm-hmm. I had done the 30 days and I felt to my, I said to myself, I really think I need more than the videos, the daily videos and the Facebook group. And so I'm going to give this 90 day challenge, um, a try. I said, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. So I went ahead and said, I'm going to do that. I need some accountability. The program gave me a little more structure than what I found with the 30 day challenge, which I needed. What was that structure? What, what was the difference? Well, I, you know, again, once a week I have to meet, I mean, I met with the group, a group call on Mondays. We kind of went through what worked, what didn't work with us. We kind of share our own experiences. We kind of learn from each other's. Um, and then the, and then the weekly call with the coach. And so with Kevin, um, again, it kind of helps me set myself for the week. I think the individual coaching sessions just helped me kind of figure out where I was in the process. Cause the group calls, you've got people who just starting, from people who are finishing and some people are in the middle. Some, some of their struggles are a little different than yours, but you kind of build upon it and you kind of identify where, where you see yourself in kind of this process. And so, um, you know, I, I thought the individual sessions helped me focus on what I thought I needed to work on myself personally. And then the group calls just helped me kind of identify, like, I'm not alone. I'm with other people are helping. Um, other people are in my court. I'm in their court. And so that helped. Um, it, it provided a weekly structure um, that helped. And so what have been the results that you've generated for yourself in these 99 days? Well, I'm 99 days alcohol free. I mean, and that's huge. I have not had, I have not been this, this long without alcohol since I think before I started college. Um, so, you know, um, that's probably the huge, the biggest accomplishment. Uh, it's It's kind of, made me a lot more present and more um, aware of who I am at work with my family too. Like, it's so funny for like a year and a half or two years, I, I've been drunk um, and unclear. And um, so the biggest, I think one of the biggest things for me is like, okay, I've, I've stopped drinking. I've started looking around and seeing what, you know, what I've maybe been ignoring uh, my professional life as maybe even my personal life. And I just said, I don't need that barrier to help me figure out where I want to go. And so um, I think that's the biggest thing is that I'm awake, that I'm clearer now than I was 90 days. Do I have a lot more to do? And is there other goals that I have for myself? I do. Yes. But my focus in the last three months have been really to be that uh, free. Mm. And so it feels what? How does it feel to be 99 days? It feels great. I mean, I feel, you know, I have a bad day and it's okay. It's a bad day. Physically, I feel great. And that's, 
Um, you know, that I haven't felt, I haven't slept as well as I've slept in years. Um, I feel great when I go to the gym. I feel much more than I ever felt when I was, you know, drinking off and on and going to the gym to help recuperate or feel better about myself. I mean, I feel great. So some of the bad days aren't as bad and the good days are really good. And what feedback have you got from people about these past 99 days being alcohol free? Well, I mean, I think physically they see that I'm less bloated or less inflamed, I guess. Um, you know, physically I have changed. My skin looks better. Um, I have lost some weight. Um, and so I think people see that. Um, I think they see that I'm clearer at work. I mean, I'm much more responsive. Um, I'm clearer in my directions and, and providing feedback and all that stuff that I have to do on a daily basis. Um, and I think I'm just more present. Um, and I think that's true in my personal life as well. And what's your intention now post 99 days as we're yeah. recording this? Yeah. I mean, I don't have any, you know, it's funny. That's one of the big things you sort of got to think about as you finish the 90 day challenge. And, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't see my, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't see myself drinking right now and I don't, I don't have that urge. I don't, I also don't have the need to sit there and say another 90 days or um, I'm sure those milestones will come. I just don't have that urge right now. So it's prevent it's uh, um, yeah. I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't feel the need to do another 90 days. I don't plan to drink because I feel great. And every time I have a fleeting thought like, oh, it's Sunday afternoon and the house is clean and I'm, you know, got a few hours. I, you know, I'd slip right back into like, let's have a glass of wine and just relax. And the other day I was like, absolutely not. Like I got a workout. I've got other things I can much, much, I would rather much, I'd much rather do. So, yeah. And what do you think was the difference in, in helping you achieve the breakthrough with your drinking now doing this 90 day program that didn't work previously? No, I think it, I think a couple of things, I think I was ready. I mean, I talked to Kevin multiple times. I did not have the physical cravings and urges that I'd had when I quit before. So I think it was a combination of me physically and mentally and everything else being so tired that um, when I gave it up, I didn't have some of those urges, um, which I normally had had. I had a lot of physical cravings um, and that inevitably lead to me having my first glass of wine. So, um, so I think it was that, I think it was, uh, like I said earlier, the structure, it provided more accountability. I think I needed just that, that extra, you know, live, I guess, conversation via Zoom with the group, with Kevin on a weekly basis that just helped me kind of structure like, no, this is what I want to do. Um, here's how I think I want to approach it. And with their ideas and everything else, I was able to do it. But I do think I was ready. I was, I was physically tired. Uh, I often say there's a five point formula to the alcohol freedom formula to finally make the breakthrough. And that's accountability, a coach, community, skin in the game, as in investing and trying to make it as easy as possible uh, and fun, fun and easy. So did you feel with the, in the 90 day program that you got accountability? I, I did. I mean, I, I felt it absolutely with the weekly groups and the individual check-ins. Absolutely. Did you feel like you got uh, a coach and a methodology? Yes. Kevin, um, you know, Kevin provided kind of the structure, understood what I was probably going through and helped with the various tools, he provided some books that I, I actually felt very useful in terms of supplementing kind of this path as you kind of re realize like there's lots out there. So yes, I did feel that. Uh, community, did you feel like you were part of a community? I did, I mean, the Monday calls, the, the Monday evening calls with Kevin and everyone else, I did. I felt that, um, again, some people when I first started were just ending the 90 days. Um, two or three were right in the middle. And then there was myself and Tim. And um, it, it, it helped uh, provide a sense of community and that people were there for each other. Um, even when there were, you know, some things did happen, people slipped and, you know, they were free to, to talk about that. And um, it, was, it was helpful for me because I know exactly where they were. 
and I've been there. Um, skin in the game. Um, I believe that when you pay, then you pay attention. Uh, and to join Project Nani, you have to pay like there's an investment to join it. It's a sizable it investment for some people. Did you feel, how did you feel like that um, helped you to remain alcohol free? No. Yes. I mean, there was skin in the game. Um, yeah. Listen, the $5,000 um, is a lot of money. Um, but I, it's funny. I was to the point, I think I would have, you know, I, I just needed something more. And I was looking at this like it couldn't help. It couldn't be any worse than it already is. Um, and there isn't a free ride. And so it did help. Um, I did have skin in the game. And yes, I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. And then the last thing is it has to feel uh, easy or easier, and that includes some fun. So did it feel fun and easy for you? Yeah, I don't know if it was fun. I mean, I enjoyed, I did enjoy meeting with Kevin and, and, and the people in the group. Um, I don't think it was, you know, I don't know, fun. That's an interesting word. I, maybe um, Well, easier. I mean, you have it was to easier. try to make it easy. So rather than relying yes. on brute willpower and white knuckling I don't think it, I was guilted. I didn't feel negative. I, I didn't feel like, oh, I'm Arnie. I'm an alcoholic. I've been drinking for 25 years. No, I didn't feel like. There wasn't a, you know, I do think language has a lot. And I think one of the things that we've talked about in the group is language and that, you know, um, we don't say sobriety and we say we're alcohol free. And it's as funny as those little nuances are, I think they mean a lot. I mean, I don't think, I think there was a, there was a much more positive energy with this than, um, and maybe that's where you say easier, more fun um, because it's pretty serious. Um, and so, yes, I do think from that standpoint, yes, it's more positive. Wonderful. Well, thank you, um, Ani. And I just want to thank you as well, for, particularly for being on the cause and supporting others. And part of the process for learning anything is to coach it. And you coached it by just showing up and being vulnerable and sharing what was going on. And I know that people who came after you um, have been inspired by that and it's helped them move along as well. So I acknowledge you and thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, congratulations. So Arnie from uh, Chicago, 48 from Chicago? Correct. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. 99 thank days you. alcohol free and we don't have to count from here, right? You just live the alcohol free lifestyle. I'm living the alcohol free lifestyle. Yep. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word Quit Guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90, that's one word, project90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Computer. Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.